What you're about to see is a match of the no DCE open. This is round three. I have come up with a deck that I think is fun, or I should say that I looked at someone else's list and modified a few cards from it. It's a Blacephalon list, and the objective is to attack with Blacephalon, charge up on with Naganadel on the bench, and use that for Lost Zone um, to increase the attack of Mind Blown. You've seen it, but it's expanded now. Um, we've got Marsh Shadow. Yeah, this looks pretty much standard right now. And also, the energy is pretty much standard for a standard format list. But then we've got Battle Compressor. That's the important thing right here. And um, I was recommended Computer Search, but I'm going to go ahead with Scramble Switch for my A-Spec, which is really nice. Um, I had Switch in the list, but, um, but the, the trainer card just called Switch. But I thought this was more convenient because it... It's the same as using Switch, but it also has a secondary effect. Um, you've got four Beast Ring, very good, very useful. And one Heat Factory into Ultra Space, just as in standard lists. And the other primary difference in addition to Battle Compressor is Blacksmith. And you can Battle Compressor them, um, get them out of the discard pile with VS Seeker. And uh, Oh, and the other great addition here is Fighting Fury Belt. And so sometimes when you want to do 50 damage by sending one energy card to the lost zone, well, sometimes you're attacking something that's, uh, you know, 10 more damage than you need. And you're like, well, do I want to send one more energy card to the lost jo zone just because I need 10 additional damage? Or you can have a Fighting Fury Belt attached and you can hit like 60 HP basics or 110 HP stage ones, whatever. So it's pretty much, uh, pretty much the uh, you know Nagana Delbo Cephalon list that you're used to, except it's an expanded format. And this is the No DCE Open, so this is a format where we're just not allowed to use DCE. And uh, uh, this uh, this could be interesting for Dallas. Maybe there will be some people playing uh, No DCE decks in Dallas. Time will tell. And here we go. That is one heck of a yellow mustache there. I will go first because I want to attack on my second turn. And, ooh, not good, not good. Well, my opponent had no basic Pokemon. But I want to start with Blacephalon. But I might be able to compensate for this. I can, like, hopefully get a Blacephalon. Ooh, so he's playing a Dark Deck. I can hopefully get a Blacephalon turn one, retreat for it, and then I'll have a fire energy in the discard pile, so that'll be good. Yes, I would like to draw an extra card. We're going to go ahead and Ultra Ball. Mm. Let me get rid of... These two. And I will get my Blacephalon. And this stuff can be VS Secret back, so let's not worry about it too much. And I can either get a Tapu Lele or a Marsh Shadow. No, I cannot get a Marsh Shadow. All right, so we're just going to go big here. We're going to go get the Sycamore. So there's some high potential here for him to do some damage early on in the game. But I also have that same potential advantage. I'm going to use an Ultra Space and get another Blacephalon. And, oh, I did not get the energy. Done. So, hopefully, I will draw into an energy next turn. I mean, ideally, um, ideally, I would draw fire energy, use my heat factory to get 
to draw into a battle compressor to get some more fire energy and then use blacksmith to power up my blacephaline. Because I can hypothetically swing for 150 next turn and knock out his Eveltal. But he's probably going to get some use out of his Eveltal. And actually, hey, look at this. We got some similar strategy. So he's going to use Oblivion Wing to get some um, darkness energy out of his discard pile. And I'm using, you know, I'm using Battle Compressor to get darkness energy or fire energy into my discard pile. You know, he gets energy from an attack. I get energy from an ability. And, oh, here it comes, Skyfield, and he's going to fill up his bench with a boatload of Pokemon off the Hoopa EX. Man, Hoopa EX, man, I remember it in Standard. It was a fun card. Um, you know, I like using it in um, Mega Rayquaza. Ooh, Sudowoodo. Okay, well, that doesn't affect me that much because uh, I've got enough Pokemon on the field to be satisfied. And so he hasn't done his supporter yet, so he'll probably via Seeker and get uh, Calrus, which he put into his discard pile with uh, with the Battle Compressor. Let's see how many Darkness... He has three. And he... Does he have a Darkrai? Yeah, Darkrai GX. He hasn't played his Darkrai GX yet. So at the end of the... Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So no Dark Ride GX. And, oh, I did not do it. But okay. So let's go ahead and Battle Compressor. And we'll just get some fire energy in here. Well, yeah, there's really nothing else for us to Battle Compressor. So let's get that. That. And let's get a heat factory. Mm. And we'll charging up. And we'll retreat for the cephalon. So we've still got three fire energy in the discard pile, so I'll charging up this guy, and then I'll blacksmith, and then I will swing for 150 and get the first knockout. And mind blown. And if he can respond with a uh, KO on my Blacephalon next turn. Well, hey, there we go. I was about to say I'll draw into a B-string, hopefully, by VS Seekering into my Sycamore or um, N. But actually, there we go. There's my B-string. So I more than like will, likely will be able to get another KO next turn. Well, let's not count, uh, count my chickens before they hatch. I've got to do 180, which means I've got to discard. I've got a Lost Zone for energy. So this is uh, 20 plus 20 for each Darkness Energy attached to all of his Darkness Pokemon. Right? So he's doing 100 right now. But this Calrus, he might draw a, uh, a Sky Field and get um, some more Pokemon in play. That'll help him get more Darkness Energy out there. Right? He might he might uh, Battle Compress another Darkrai GX and use its Restoration to get it out of the discard pile. In which case, he'll be swinging for uh, a lot more. Restoration gets one? Yeah, it just gets one. Okay. All right, so he's swinging for 120 right now. And he might have the choice band. Who knows? Yeah, I wasn't getting much use out of my heat factory anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the field blower doesn't work on heat factory. <laughs> That's right. All right, so. I don't want to discard another B string, so I'm just going to play N. <coughs> And uh, you know, I'll just um, I'll just make his thing confused. Um, 
Yes, Bursting Burn. And I withheld on the Ultra Space because that doesn't really help me. Um, also, if he gets another Sky Field, I can just counter gym him by playing the Ultra Space. I've got my Naganadel, got my backup Blacephalon, and, you know, if he gets a knockout on this turn, which most likely he will because his Pokemon has free retreat, then I will just attach the Beast Energy to the Bench Blacephalon and, um, and Sycamore, and hopefully I'll draw um, a Beast Ring. And then I'll be able to KO the uh, Dark Ray. Unfortunately, the bug on PTCGO where uh, where it it discards the it, it lost zones the the beast energy and it doesn't include that extra 30 from beast energy with mind blown. Fortunately, that bug has not been fixed, so we're just going to well, we're going to we're going to play as though the bug exists, which it does. Not we're not going to play the way we're going to play in Dallas. All right, so we've got one fire energy to charging up next turn. Mm. And we'll go ahead and ultra space. Next Blacephalon. Oh, and we whiffed it. So I think I might have messed that one up. So I did draw, as you can see, I drew four energy off of that Sycamore. If I had left the Heat Factory in play, I could have discarded them and possibly drawn a Beast Ring off those three cards. But now he's got a guaranteed knockout here because he's got 10 energy in play. I'll probably be adding more. And now I've got Beast Ring, and I will not be able to use it. <clears throat> Send up this guy. Yeah, man, I am out of options. So I'm just going to go ahead and concede the game. And let him know that I want to go first game too. All right, so uh, probably a few misplays there, but we will move on. <clears throat> okay, so... I've got to come back from a one-game def deficit. And uh, i got to win this game and the next game. And I get the Blacephalon start. Thank goodness. And, oh, my opponent. Okay, he's got an active Pokemon. Good, good. So I'm going to Ultra Space for a... Um, a Poiple, and then play in. So let's see, do I got the Marsh Shadow? Oh, the Marsh Shadow is prized again. Get 
Fighting Fury belt. Got the Heat Factory. Didn't get to do Scramble Switch last game. And I'll play in, and hopefully I draw an Energy. Or a Battle Compressor, that would be nice too. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Uh, we've got a Poiple. A Poiple and another Blacephalon. Mm -hmm. We'll prep this guy for KO next turn. So, Hoopa EX start, that's pretty bad. Uh, you can't attack with it, and you can't use its ability if it's already in play. So, uh, Max Elixir is a great card in a, a large variety of decks. Um, even decks where you get to evolve, you know, where, where you in, intend to evolve later, like, uh, like Buzzrock. Um, I thought about, I thought about Max Elixir in this deck, but the, just, you know, just copying the, the formula for the standard version of this deck was just too easy. You know, and you've got, um, the synergy here that they're both Ultra Beasts, so they can be searched with Ultra Space. Um, they're not items, so get you know chart using charging up. It, that's an ability, not an item, so you don't have to worry about Garbodor. You know, there's some benefits to using Naganadel to get more energy over using Max Elixir. So wow, it looks like he's about to get a knockout real quick. So I've got to respond real quick. And, all right, I will just get this, and I'll play N. Even though my opponent has a three-card hand, that's that's all I have for draw right now. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Let's get some stuff in the discard pile. Two, three. Well, charging up. And unfortunately, we're still not going to make it, but uh, let's mind blow. And we'll just do all of them. In real life, that would have worked. And I think he's going to win this game because he gets the first knockout. Right? It's an EX deck. You know, it's a two prize attacker deck versus another two prize attacker deck. And he's going to win this because he just wins the, the game of who gets the knockout first. And he's got energy on so many Pokemon right now. Um, in this deck, you're not usually stacking energy on five different Pokemon on your, on your bench. And, well, he's got four <laughs> energy on four Pokemon on his bench. That typically doesn't happen with Blacephalon. You know, you've got... A Blacephalon active, and then a Blacephalon benched, and, you know, Naganadel with energy on it. But I wish I had as much energy on the board as he has right now. Yeah, so we're just going to trade knockouts, and he's going to get the game. And just add insult to injury. I won't be able to get another Blacephalon next turn. Yeah. So my Bursting Burn doesn't help as much as it 
helps in other matches because all of his Pokemon have free retreat. We'll just go ahead and do that. Thin out our deck some. And let's just pray we get another Blacephalon. We do not. So we've just given up on the B-string altogether. Not happening. And I just need to mind blown one energy. All right, and he's going to respond very quickly with an easy KO next turn. Hey, there we go. There's my Mars Shadow. There's my B-String. And you know what? Actually, I could have sent up Naganadel. I could have sent up Naganadel and attacked with that instead. Because it would have done it would have done fifty damage. Uh, the uh, thirty damage that I needed. Because it would have been uh, resistant, it had psychic resistance, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so it would have done 60, yeah, that would have been enough. Not sure who he's attacking with because his active dark ride does not have the energy necessary to attack. And the dark ride GX needs one more energy. I don't know if he's going to dark cleave me or uh, hypnotoxic laser and dead end GX. Not really sure. Oh, there we go. He has the energy. And... Come on. Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse. Let's go. I was really thinking about this one. Ooh, N. Well, I do have kind of a good hand right now. But it looks like I'm not going to use the B string next turn. Uh, dark pulse. Yep. That'll do it. So those two dark patches he drew got him just the energy he needed for a KO. All right, so I've got to do five. So it's all or nothing. Hmm. There we go. Just 
do my best to try to complicate things for him just a little bit. Bring a little ultra space. We'll grab a poipo. save this energy all right I gotta do five because it's at 220 all right one two three four five and done so just hit him for 260 and I'll just hope he doesn't have a response. So he's got to KO. He's got to KO the Blacephalon next turn. And he dead NGX me, like I predicted. <laughs> and that is game. All right, well, that concludes this uh this match i am moving on to the losers bracket and i will try not to uh try not to get dead ngx next time